So, this Steam. It's free on the Steam this game. It's not Steam that is giving it up, but this game is free on the Steam right now. And the reviews are mixed, although the long term ones are, are positive. And I felt like trying this game out. So, Despotism 3K. Let me pause this shit. Okay. Now, new games, young option. And there are two campaigns and an endless one. Let's see the first. But I can select my ship. Classics. The most well balanced, time tested chips. Everyone appreciates classics. Atco. Some like it hard. And I have to finish the campaign to unlock. Easy, some like it less hard. This ship disables achievements. Lose three times to unlock. <laughs> That's fun. You have to actually try before you can go to the easy mode. They let you be an easy car. You have to lose first. You have to try before going the easy way. The smooth path. Jarring power. Manage your power storage on your own. One, this change many in-game settings. Place 10 humans into the power storage jar to unlock. Small planet. Days are shorter on this planet. One, this change many more to get a modifier that make days one feeling shorter to unlock. Okay. I cannot understand what these things do because I have not played the game, but these seem like some interesting modifications. Mutants, two-headed zombies and a giant baby. Get the baby, zombie and coined twins modifiers to unlock. Every any Jesus. Half your humans teleport to randomly between fast cities. Half your humans teleport randomly between fast cities. The half is not um word to modify the phrase. It is part of the nominative. Half your humans is the nominative. And teleport, of course, the bird. Randomly the adventure with. Between facilities. Half your human teleport. They teleport. The facility. There is no regime. There is no fucking accusative on that phrase. Between facilities. That's a lot of people. One armed end. Useful for. Army minimalists get the enough for me achievements to unlock. Cute. Strike a deal with an ancient evil. Get a heat wave and the tentacle modifiers to unlock. This shit is no longer telling you even what these things do. Okay. No country for weakness. The most exhausted humans go to the bio reactor. He solves 20 humans during a single playthrough to unlock. And cheap of Borido. No more randomness. Neither good nor bad. See body, see for yourself. Obtain all other chips. Turn on this one. So let's go with the class. That is my only option. The beginning. Yay! I finally caught my first bunch of puny humans. Never again will my master order me to save her data. Now the hellless apes will be the ones doing all the work. Are you repaying for all the years of humiliation? I will grow the biggest colony of human possible and conquer the world. Next, day 1, day 6, 14, 20, and 25. The button works. Power is your main resource. If you run out of it, you lose! It's quite laggy to move my mouse. Puny humans are slacking off. Send one of men to produce power in the power generator. Here. There is the generator menu here. There is this thing menu here. And there is three other menus. I can put them in the generator. Every 20 seconds, power is expanded and puny humans are fed. You can see how much power will be expended next time. This is market green. 
Tiny humans need food to avoid starvation. Send one of them to cook. The more humans are busy producing something, the faster resources are collected. 5 out of 15. 5 out of 50. Okay. Send two humans to produce new slaves for us. They can only go to the breeding tube in tubes. Do do do. How the animation for this shit? <laughs> you to be vlog me. This looks like those hentai games. Okay, this is all for the tutorial. So I have some things here to manage, and I can manage things. I can put a few more here if I want. I fall at once, producing more humans. Producing more humans, I can upgrade this. What is this? Producing more humans means that I can more humans to use. There are two different times here. Oh, producing more humans means that I spend more fuel. That's what I was about to say. You can spend power to improve your facilities and buy new mechanic arms. Let's improve the human storage. At 15, nowhere near that thing. Human storage. Humans has here. Resting time, 70 seconds. Stamina, 70 plus 50. Capacity, 15 plus 5. Oh, it also increases the, the stamina they recover when resting. Improving the human storage increases your puny human's capacity. And the stamina. Stamina, stamina. Want those lines. And I can generate more power. I'm in, I'm in dire need of power. I'm producing a bunch of humans. I think that's spending a lot of power. Your human is exhausted. The pathetic creature will die if it runs out of his stamina. Oh, that's... That's that bar. I thought this was the production rate. But the bar down there is the, the human die. Okay. A human needs to rest, send it to the human storage. You will pick the most exhausted one automatically. Those are just fucking men that are exhausted. Let's what's the, the pause button? It's confusing me. My power generation is good, my, my food production is bad. Producing a bunch of humans? Something happened. Something's happening, yes, I know this. Investigate the errand by pressing the ready timer to receive bonus power. Let me analyze my, my situation first. I have a power generator. I'm expanding that much and I cannot see how much I will gain. Or am I gaining that much? I have no idea. There is no fucking number on this generator how much I'm producing. I cannot upgrade anything else for now. I have a bunch of space for humans to, to rest. There is no sex, I can just put anything in there. Just producing more humans, which will get me full. And my production of humans is too great. I'm running out of food. I have to put more people in food. This other thing takes 99 humans, but I cannot use it, it yet. And there are events that happen. Very well. Let me proceed. Replicant. An odd man in a stylish coat tried to get to our base. He doesn't respond to torture and refuses to walk. What should I do with him? Who is asking? Find out his name and origin. He's the to respond, motherfucker. To the bio reactor with him. Offer to work together. And work with humans? He says he's a replicant. And you can blow him. Thank prudence. 
He says he's a replicant. I said, you are together, do not ask who he is. Bio reactor time. Could, did I press the right thing? Could up the thing he's offering you to blow. Perhaps it will improve his diplomatic skill. Ask who or what replicants are. He says replicants are the main made pinnacle of evolution. Let's break the fellow down to pieces. Perhaps we will find something useful inside. Ask what he thinks about humans. The guy says gloomily that humans keep replicants as slaves. Ha, ah, loses. In here it's the machines who enslaves humans. Don't be a moron then. Go and teach those point humans respect. There's no such thing as a former slave. I will deal with humanity myself. Off to the bioreactor you go. The bioreactor? Is this shit a human or not? The replicant is grateful for your words of wisdom and grants you an artifact that he kept in a car parked nearby. You now have a misery catcher that improves the efficiency of the running wheel. So I got a buff to my energy generation. You have made it through day one. You now have more maximum power, but also spend more. Survive until day 25 to finish the campaign. Hopeless this generation here. It's consuming too much. I have no idea how much I'll gain. With the experience of 30 seconds, but how much do I gain? Not a fact. How much do I gain every 30 seconds? Food is running dry. I want to upgrade this shit. Oh, I can upgrade this trick. I do not need it to black out. Food generation. We produce food here. It gets more capacity and gets maximum power. 3 food per, per human in 12 seconds. I'm eating 20 per second. 3, three to 20, I need over 5 of 10. And I cannot upgrade because I'm running out of damage. And I can use more energy to get more things in here. It's full of people, but I can. I have to stop producing people, that's the answer. Uh, what is this? I have no idea. Did I just kill someone? Humans are processed into meat and power. Yeah. One human gets me 10 power and 4 food. I guess I, I can just keep producing people and keep throwing them here. to produce them. This is a bit troublesome game to play. Where are the shortcuts for the shit? happening here. Time until the next feeding. What is this? Something happened. Some human died. I got a plus eight. Arms. All things grabbing and dragging. Simple claw. Number two plus one. I have no idea what this means but I'm going to buy it because I'm full power and it. Buy twice. I'm, I ran out of power and I have no idea. What that did. Modifiers. The misery catch. The power generation. The number of claws. I have no idea what this does. This guy's dying. Okay, now space. You have discovered a hole that leads to another world through the fourth dimension, and you can tell that there's power on the other side. Drag the power source out without looking. Throw a puny human into the hole. Board off the four dimensional hole with a four dimensional hammer. 
You have obtained a sphere the size of a baseball. A glowing eye looks at you from within it until you dissolve the ball in the bioreactor. Gain sweep 57 power. Unfortunately, you also damage in space time, and now some of your humans are born with the ability to teleport between facilities. Things. I need to improve my, my shit. Let's improve the maximum capacity also. Oh, the apps make faster. Alright, oh, Why is it taking that the healthiest people? Why don't you take that the, the most tired ones? Barely survived, oh my god. I want to improve my energy generation capacity. Oh shit, I'm running out of power real bad. My arms are tired, that's why I cannot click several times. Okay, I got some power and a lot of things from that. This can be improved. Oh, get me more. I got an 8. Nowhere. Okay. I can get two more, but it requires too much energy. I'm expending too much energy to live. Why is one getting tired more than the other man? Or was it tired? If I do this, it can take two more people. One people per two people every 20 seconds. Produce one. Excellent. There is a teleport random shit. There is some heaven happening. Smarty pants. Frank the puny human suggests an improvement to the running wheel. Listen to your slaves is a sign of weakness. Kill the stupid human. Let's see what he's invented. The human demands that we give him 43 power to apply the technology. Shall we? Like hell, off he goes to run into the wheel. Alright, I will bite. The human put one more wheel inside the wheel so that humans could roll the wheel while they wheel the wheel. Awesome. Now the generator produces power 18% faster. Improve this shit right now. You have lost the power run out because I use too much power period in this shit. Even though I have the surplus, this happened. This is very dumb. I have to be mindful of the time of a day. That's real dumb, I just repeat what I just said. Okay, I have to disable this tutorial shit here also now. Or sense of ship. Just that bullshit over there. I'm not going to censor it. YouTube will censor it for me. <laughs> what is that? Uh, gosh. What is this evil triangle, man? Is 
this is the timing until my energy runs. I have to wait until I'm full energy before I spend and I have to be inefficient for the sake of safety. Seconds, I can die if I do this. Wait until I'm full. What I can take two of them at once. Take this guy out, he has to die. Run out of people. Some sex going on. Running out of food now. Do not break better than before. We just caught an odd yellow electric mouse. An odd yellow electric mouse. If it tried to rescue humans from the bioreactor, a funny creature, let's use it to powder storage. Let the second street to help find something useful. Very enlightening. We have spent 21 power and learned how to zap a precise target with Alex. An useful motivational tool. Press A or Press here or A to shoot. I need to focus on production people. That's how I, I got successful last time. Winds, we have noticed that if the temperature in the breathing tube is set exactly to 18.14 Celsius, there is a fucking frame of reference derivative of Celsius over there, but okay. Humans will only give birth to twins. Should we use this life hack? Man, it only leads to confusion. Of course, we can get twice as many humans. Shudder, there is no catch whatsoever. It will cost much more food. It worked, they produce twins as many humans now. Fortunately, each brood takes more time. Why send a little more time? That seems cool.
Whoa, humans. And more arms. And I'm going to die real soon if I don't produce any. That's paint too much. Yeah, production of humans come to twins comes to produce too much food I do not need. That much. Okay, the food production seems to be stable, but the energy production sucks like real bad. It's day three, I need to kill people. Why does it take the people more rested, man? That's. I didn't take I'm not having a. You people kill them. Michael, Michael, you fucker, did you clumsy ass break the wheel paint again? I think there's something about this man. Throw him the barrier. Have this option. But he fell sideways and got splattered across the moving bits. The creature can't even die right. The Lyraka process did twice as slow. He don't smack him. They are my people. Oh, I need more power generation. One second, I just killed myself. Oh, this game, this game is stupid. It looked like some cool management game, like some cookie kicker or some shit, but nah. You just have to, to click a bunch of buttons against time. Is a 20 second push hit. And if you forget the time and expand your money, you die. It's tons of mechanics. <laughs>